MPanel FEA already has a satisfactory method of coping with Oncastra poles, that is poles set in concrete in the ground, by taking the poly line um, which sort of goes around the top of the poles and marking that as Oncastra pole tops. Then, when the model is built, the pole tops are given uh, an extra spring, in effect, to pulling them back towards their normal place, and the spring rate um, simulates the effect of the effect of the pole stiffness. And in addition, to allow for the fact that the poles during the installation will have been bent over some and will have generated a back force, the back force is correctly calculated and applied to the top of the pole as a point force. Because of this, when we solve for load case zero, we have a very quick solution because nothing really uh, has to move and if we plot out the display shape you'll see that the display shape essentially everything stays in the same same place which is what we would expect in load case zero and although this produces the correct uh, forces on the pole top the correct tensions in the uh, in the uh, corner guys, the corner links, the correct stresses in the fabric, it does not show us the amount of movement and the direction of movement of the pole tops during installation. And for this reason, uh, we've introduced a an alternative method of. Um, making an FEA analysis on uh, tent on tentile structures with castro poles and that is to mark the pole tops as being on castro poles with adjustable links and what that does is is it allows the links which connect the sail to the corner these links here to change their length um, whilst keeping the same tension during load case zero so can they, they can be thought of as similar to turnbuckles that you are tightening up changing their length um, without any any uh, significant change in their in their tension and so if we go ahead now and build the model with the new uh, style of Encastra simulation, we'll see that on the materials page that some of the links have been marked as adjustable. Some are marked as compressible, those of course are the poles, but the adjustable links will maintain their pre-stress value which will be set in this table here during the load case zero um, relaxation whilst being able to change their change their length at will. In addition there has been no provision of back force so we have not applied any back force during the, uh, to, to, the, to the initial conditions and this means that the adjustable links will pull the poles in to an amount which will exactly equalize the structure in, in, its, uh, in its force equilibrium um, which it would achieve during installation. So we can go ahead and run the um, solve for th and during the solution instead of the instantaneous or very fast solution, uh, so solution that we got uh, before where no movement was occurring we now have a graph which shows that we have some movement occurring and then the solution occurs and if we go ahead now and plot the displaced shape we 
can see that the, the pole tops have moved in and this link joining the um, pole tops to the sail has shortened to achieve essentially the same conditions that we had on the uh, previous model but we have a visual indication and a, and a measurement that we can make of the uh, pull top movement and of course that pull top movement will have to be accommodated by uh, whatever kind of adjustable link we have um, in, the, in the edges there. So this provides an alternative method of, of uh, working with Encastra structures and just to make it clear the adjustable link is only adjustable if it, it can only change its length without altering its tension during load case 0. During higher load cases, load case 1, load case 2, when an external load is applied, then the link will behave as a normal fixed link starting out at whatever length has been found for it during the uh, load case 0.